Hello again everybody. I wanted to show you a quick and yummy fresh dessert that you can make in our everyday rock crock pan or our larger uh, four quart Dutch oven rock crock. This one I am doing in the four quart because that's the one I have available right now. But what you start with is you start with some yummy strawberries. I went ahead and sliced these up really quick. About two pounds. But I wanted to show you how to use a simple uh, quick slice here. This here is our quick slicer and it can slice mushrooms, zucchini, cucumber, strawberries and slices them pretty quick. So I'm going to take a couple of my strawberries and just show you real quick how to get that done quickly. Let me get you set up here. Okay, so all of our products that have sharp edges come with some type of a cover or case to keep them protected and so you don't cut yourself. And I'm simply taking these strawberries and placing them on the tray here. And I'm going to I'm going to line up my strawberries here. And make sure I have them going the right way here. And you simply press them down into the groove. And then what you have here is some sliced strawberries. I'll be using that again soon for another video but that sliced up strawberries you could put more of them on at a time if you want to so for this recipe you're going to use about two pounds of strawberries and I'm going to show you what I'm doing real quick so I'm going to take these strawberries I'm going to dump them in my pan and I have some cornstarch here about one tablespoon of cornstarch and then I am going to also take sorry about my hand being in the way um, this is our measure uh, measure all cup and this one is our one cup measure all we have a two cup and we have a tablespoon uh, size one but about a half a cup of sugar pour that in here as well and then I'm going to take my strawberries and put them in to my rock crock also normally I'd be using my flexible cutting mats I'm gonna put those in there I'm also gonna slice um, it says one lemon, juice one lemon, but I have a huge lemon here, so I'm going to take and just use half of a lemon for right now. And this is our coated utility knife, which is awesome. It also has a cover or a sheath to keep it safe if you have it in a drawer so that you're not reaching in and grabbing something. Okay, this here is our juicer. It's amazing. The reason I like our juicer is because it has measurements. I don't know if you can see the measurements, but you have measurements right on the outside of your container. And also this container, um, you actually have a pour spout where you can turn it. Mine's a little stiff right now. I just got it out. But you can pour, turn it to where you pour out the pulp or you keep the pulp in. So it's personal preference on whether you want the pulp or not. This is super easy. I don't even have to strain. This one does it really easily to juice it. We also have a regular citrus press that's a handheld press if you want to use that instead. And there you have it, a juice of a lemon. And I'm gonna just go ahead and pour that on into my mixture. Now I want to go ahead and stir that, heat it up to uh, medium heat, and while I'm having that on medium heat for about oh, 10 minutes, I'm keeping it on a simmer, and while I'm doing that I'm going to use my mix and chop, which they come in black, this one is an older version of the Help Whip Cancer, but we normally have it in black and I have had mine for 14 years so they last forever. It's great for chopping uh, taco meat or tomato, stewed tomatoes or mashed potatoes and I'm going to actually use it to mash my mixture of strawberries. But while I have that going, I did preheat my oven to 400. I have two cups of, uh, what kind of flour is this? Self-rising flour, sorry, so this is my second cup of self-rising flour and that's in our measure, regular measuring cup. And I will be adding to that one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. But right now I'm going to let this get to go in and I'm going to mash it up. So let me see if I can show you 
as it's getting hot here. Like I said, you want to get this to get a good coating with the uh, cornstarch and the sugar all in it. You want it to get all juicy and yummy. It's going to be like a strawberry shortcake when we're done with it. Now while that is heating up for me to mash a little bit more, I am going to show you how I'm going to do this. This is our uh, small glass mixing bowl. It comes in a set of three. And let me get, this is our two cup measure all. The reason I like these is because all three of the ones that we have in this series, you can measure uh, liquids in this part or you can measure solids. So if you're doing peanut butter, sour cream, butter, or anything that's more of a solid and you don't want to have to scrape it out to measure it, you can put it on this side and then you actually just push it out and then scrape the bottom and you've got your solids in there. So let me grab the one and a half cups of, I don't think I'm going to have enough. I use it. Let me get some more. I've got the one and a half cups of whipping cream here. And I am going to pour that in. This is going to form almost like a dumpling drop on the top of it. And I've got my stainless steel whisk here. We have two sizes. We have a regular size and we have a small size. I'm going to whisk that together really quick just until it forms. It's going to form like little doughs. And then we're also going to use our large scoop once this is together. This is our large scoop. We have a medium and a small, but our large scoop is going to form the dough balls to the top off on top of the strawberry mixture. And then we, this is our one cup prep bowl that we have. We're going to have one tablespoon of sugar and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and we're going to sprinkle that on top of this yummy dough mixture. And then we're going to bake that for, oh, let's say about 20 minutes until the dough is together. And it's gonna be super yummy. So I'm gonna pause it right now until I get the strawberries mashed and get this together and then I'll show you scooping it together. Give me one minute. All right, I am back and they have been, the strawberries have been simmering for almost 10 minutes and marrying the juices with the cornstarch and the sugar. I wanted to show you this brand new utensil set that we are going to be offering um, now. And this is our colorful uh, utensils to match our color-coded knives and mats. And I'm going to actually just use the orange, uh, orange spoon here to show you guys what it looks like when it is done as far as the strawberries that is. Sorry about my hand in the way. Anyways, so this is how it's going to look. Kind of thick and juicy and chopped up and yummy with all of the sweet smells. It's so good in there. Okay, and now we're gonna do the scoops. And then I'll show you that as well. And sorry for not looking all great. I am a mom, obviously I just had a two month old baby and things are kind of cra crazy with feeding him. So I've got my medium scoop, and I'm literally just doing scoops right on into this. And I'm gonna place it all around different areas. It makes little balls, I'll show you when I'm done. Great quick dessert, great for the summer, great for if you have um, even some strawberries that aren't super sweet or not ripe yet, because obviously the sugar will help make that a little bit more ripe. Okay, almost.
much done here. Okay, I'll show you what this looks like. And I'm going to put it in the oven, like I said, after I sprinkle it. Well, let me go ahead and sprinkle the sugar and cinnamon. Just right on top of that. And I'm going to take and show you what it looks like. Sorry about my lighting is kind of off here. But there you have it. It's cooking right there. I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And if you'll give me a moment, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, I am back and I have just pulled it out of the oven with my red silicone oven mitts, which are amazing. We also have the uh, micro grips that I use all the time in our microwave. It's easier to get things in and out with space wise. Plus these are awesome for having uh, pasta shells that you stuff. Put them in here so that you can stuff them without burning your fingers. So I have used my cake tester here to dip into the dough to make sure that they are done. So Tom, can you come grab me a white plate up here, please? I'm gonna show you what it looks like coming out of the oven. If I had smell-o-vision, it would be amazing. That cinnamon sugar just smells so good with the strawberries. Super, super yummy. Now my husband's going to grab me a plate real quick so that I can scoop it up. And he's taking care of our little one right there. So he's going to get me a plate so that I can dish it out and show it to you. Thank you. Say hi, Brody. Oh, he's a little cranky right now. <laughs> so, let me dish it out for us. And see what it's going to be. Yummy, yummy. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Oh my gosh, see the steam coming off of it? Oh, that's so yummy. And something else I want to show you real quick that you can add to it. This is our amazing whipped cream maker. And last night I had made up a batch of whipped cream. It literally takes 30 seconds and three ingredients to make regular whipped cream. Uh, powdered sugar, vanilla, and a heavy whipping cream. And you pump this for 30 seconds and it becomes such a great topping. And I'm gonna just top that off with a little bit of yummy whipped cream. You can obviously keep it in the uh, fridge for a while. And this is not as thick as, a, as if I had just gotten it pumped up because I didn't pump it a lot. So you're going to top it up with some fresh whipped cream and it is super, super yummy. Thank you for watching. I hope you love this dessert.